Okay, so what is the best knot for tying picture wire? It's kind of hard to determine, especially being an artist. I don't have a lot of experience in tying knots. So I reached out to Des Pawson, who is an expert. In fact, the New York Times did a video piece on him. He's written books about knots. I recommend the one called Knots, The Complete Visual Guide. You'll find a lot of useful knots in there. So I sent him an email and I asked him his opinion about three different knots I've seen used. And he agreed that the improved clinch knot would be the most appropriate for tying knots in picture wire. So I'll show you how to tie that knot in picture framing wire. And I have a guide on my website. There's a PDF that you can download and print it out and hang it up in your studio. The other tips that I'm gonna cover are the differences between eye hooks and D-rings. I go over the different types of picture hangers and how much weight they can hold. I also hang a picture on a wall just to demonstrate some things and then give you some tips and pointers. You're going to wanna to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know when I have new videos available. Before you can attach the wire to the frame, you need some hardware to attach it to. In my last video, I used a small eye hook like this, and that works fine for small paintings. One of the issues you'll run into is that if the frame is shallow, there's not enough room to put an eye hook in there. So the other option is to use a D-ring. And they come in different sizes. This is good for small ones. There's larger ones that have a longer strap and a bigger ring. And they also have like two holes in there. A lot of times picture framers will glue a piece of paper, like brown craft paper to the back, just to protect it from dust. And if you do that, you won't be able to access the inside of the frame to put an eye hook in there. So that's when you would use D-rings too. This frame is eight inches tall and you want to install the D-ring a third of the way down. So eight divided by three is 2.66 inches. I'll round that up to 2.75. So you want to place the D-ring hanger so that this flat side is facing down. Otherwise, the bulky part, if you put it face down, it would make this part stand up at an angle and it wouldn't look right. So I'll just draw a circle where I want to drill a hole. You might be able to get away without drilling a hole, but I do it just so that you don't run the risk of cracking the frame. So once you have the holes drilled, you just screw in the D-ring hangers. I've noticed that D-rings make the painting lean forward off the wall and it leaves a bigger gap at the top of the picture. When I use eye hooks and I set them in maybe a half an inch from the back of the frame, it seems to eliminate that gap between the frame and the wall, but you wanna use rubber bump-ons like this to allow air to flow behind the painting. To tie the improved clinch knot, I usually loop the end a little bit so I can get it through the loop easier. And then I leave a little bit of slack in the line. You start by wrapping it around about five times. And I do it kind of close together like this, just so it's bunched up from the beginning. I think it's easier to do it this way. So that's three times, it's four. So that's step one. And then you just take the end of the wire and you see this loop at the top that you just created? You just put it through the end of that. And this right here would be the clinch knot. The improved clinch knot is when you take the end and you put it through the loop you just made. And what that does is when you tighten this up, it'll close down on this end and it makes it more secure. So it helps if you have pliers so you can get a better grip on it and you tighten it up. And the other thing you can do is take your pliers and push down on this so that this whole bunch ends up towards the top part of the, the wire. And then tighten that up a little bit more. It's pretty good right there, but I'll see if I can get it a little bit tighter. Just pull on this. This is what it looks like when you tighten it down. Now, you got this excess wire over here, and some people will trim it off closer than that. I usually just wrap it around the wire. This is what it looks like when the wire is tied to the D hangers. This is the side that I cut closer to the knot and some people like that neater appearance. On this side, I just took the excess wire and I wrapped it around itself. And that allows me to unwrap it and if I have to add more slack into the line, I can do that. Whereas if you cut it too close, you don't have that flexibility anymore. In my previous video, I used these white bump ons and these are for the corners. You put them on the four corners and it helps protect the wall. It also prevents it from sliding around too easily on the wall because it's rubber and it grips the wall a little bit better. 
And another reason why you want to apply them to the back of the frame is to help increase the airflow. There's some thickness to this. It creates a gap between the frame and the wall so air can flow behind there and you don't have to worry about mold as much growing on the back of a canvas or even on the back of paper surfaces. In this video, I think I'll use the clear ones just to do something different. There's an adhesive on the back and you just press it down on the corner and that's all there is to it. When you hang your picture, you don't want to just pound a nail on the wall and hang it on that because the weight of the picture frame and just the weakness of regular drywall, the nail might eventually slant downwards and the wire can slip off the end and your painting can fall on the ground. The picture hanging hardware makes it much more stable because you pound the nail through the hole at the top and it can't slant downwards, so it's much more stable on the wall. They're rated for different weights. I forget what this is, it's probably 10 pounds. I got 20 pound ones, 30 and 50. And you can see they get much more substantial at the heavier end. And this one has two nails that go into the wall and the plate's wider. I'm missing the one nail, I gotta find where that went. So you definitely wanna use the picture hanging hardware instead of just the nail. You might be wondering how much a small frame painting like this weighs. So I have my scale here that I use for shipping paintings and we'll figure out what type of hook we should use. This scale has like a tray that opens up so I have this at an angle so you can read the display better. It's zeroed out and I'll put the frame painting on it. Thirteen point two ounces, so any one of those picture hangers would work. I don't think there's any that are rated less than five pounds or maybe even ten pounds, so most hangers will probably work for small frame paintings like this. One trick that I have is to measure from the top of the frame down to the wire and you want to press up on the wire so there's tension on there and it's about two inches from the top of the frame. This is where I want my painting on the wall and I would just mark with a pencil at the top of the frame. So this is the mark that I made. If you measure two inches down, that's where you want your picture hanging wire. So I marked that part off. So it's tempting to just drive the nail in on that mark, but that would mean your picture would hang a little bit lower than what you wanted because the hook that the wire hangs off of is actually a little bit lower than where you drive the nail into. So you really want to move that up so that the bottom of that hook is on your mark and that's where you pound the nail in. So you want to make sure that the point of the nail is going through this hole, that it's not like on the plate or otherwise you're going to be trying to pound through metal. So you just start by tapping it. And then you could just hold on to the hanger and drive it all the way in. That's pretty sturdy. So one of the reasons why I like to leave slack in the wire is because you can put your hand back here and guide it onto the picture hanging hook. I know it's secure because I felt it go on there. Just level it out and there it is.